Let's bring it back here, though, for some health news, an important health news. Vijay Cody is standing by, CEO at Go Health, uh, knows the Medicare business inside and out. Jane, say hi. Hi, Vijay. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Jane. Good morning, Steve. Hi. Uh, great to be on your show with you. Appreciate you coming on. So we know that one out of six people in Illinois are 65 or older, and there's hundreds of plans to choose from when you're talking about Medicare. This open enrollment, this annual uh, eligibility to enroll started October 15th or starts the 15th, which is Sunday, goes through December 7th. Lots of questions, especially if you are trying to enroll for the first time. So you are here to answer those questions for us. Um, I think the first thing we need to know is the difference between Medicare Original, original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. Sure, no, Jane. This is a very common question, and it's super confusing. Uh, I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. For those who are eligible for Medicare, uh, when they are eligible for that, it's for your basic benefits. It's for your hospitalizations, and it's for uh, your physician services. Uh, and then there's an option which they call Part D, where you can add your prescription drug coverage. So that's really your basic package. Uh, when you think about Medicare Advantage, what it does is it has to cover all of those elements of uh, original Medicare, so the hospitals, physicians, uh, and then it also typically uh, would integrate in your drug coverage, though there are options that don't have it. And then there are usually some other uh, ancillary benefits that are, you wouldn't get with original Medicare, like vision, dental, uh, hearing, and some other flexible benefits, uh, depending on your, your own um, eligibility status. So is that two programs or three when you work in the, med- the medicine part of it, the, the, the drugs? Yeah, so, so in reality, there's probably four to five different buckets of benefits to get coverage. And as Jane alluded to, there's, there's hundreds of permutations as to how to uh, get that coverage through the government programs. Uh, but it is, it is really um, Medicare original with or without a Part D. So that would be, I guess, two options. And then you would get Medicare Advantage as a third option. And then there's a fourth option, which is if you wanted Medicare Original, which what uh, many people still do, which is a Medicare supplement uh, that helps you cover your co-pays. The, uh, and, and we'll tell you how to wade through this uh, in, in uh, a moment here before we wrap up. Um, you, you need to do a little homework on yourself, right? You need to know what you need most and what benefits would most benefit you? Yes, that's extremely important. Going into each year, it's no different than you know, getting your health checked up every year. You need to understand what your prioritized needs are before you have any discussions or start to think about your benefit coverage or Medicare options during the annual enrollment period. So what matters most to you, uh, what drugs you're on or prescription drugs, what physicians uh, you uh, go to, and, and what other important benefits are going to be critical for your health care in the coming year. So the other thing that we want to be aware of is that you are understanding what trade-offs you have with your current plan and you're looking to make a change and with the other plan. So you may get one thing from one plan and something from the other and you have to be aware. And sometimes those trade-offs are, are, are the fine print. They're difficult to find. No, that you hit it on the head, Jane. It is such a, a confusing time because so you confusing. Know, in Cook County alone, in Cook County alone, you have over 50 to 100 different options that you could consider and even if you were on the right plan last year, every plan has changed this year in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and so they have headline benefits that may be really attractive, but in the end, you have to always consider what you might be giving up to get that new benefit. And if you don't um, ask the questions or have a, a tool to be able to get access to those uh, fine print items, uh, it could be detrimental to what you were expecting to get. And as you go forward, you uh, trust your friends, your neighbors, the word of mouth thing. Word of mouth with something this layered and this important is probably not a great idea, right? You know, it, it's, it's a good leading indicator. Let me put it that way. You should always trust your friends. If they have feelings and family members, they'll tell you something. But you need to take that and then go assess on your own and find somebody who can actually understand um, how, all, how to decipher all the 50 to 100 options that are there and simplify it for your specific needs. Because your neighbor has very different needs than you do. They like different food, they have different lifestyles, and it may not be exactly the right mix for you. And, and then making sure whoever you do speak with has the right incentives in place uh, to look out for your personalized needs and, and making sure you're on the right plan. Um, as you go forward with this, having a pro involved is a big deal. We'll talk about that in just a second. But you also advocate shopping around. What does that mean? 
Shopping is it's really shopping for the plan option. Uh, like I said, that it, you know you may be content with last year. Uh, getting um, you know multiple options of assessing plan options that could be available to you new this year that you never even thought were available, and then even where you get your information. Um, there are a lot of sources of information have little bits of it, and so getting multiple perspectives is valuable. Or finding a source of information that's able to easily integrate all that information in one place for you to digest it, because it really needs to be a personal decision, not something that somebody else tells you is right for you. I think it's also really important that we know that this open enrollment or this annual election period starts Sunday, October 15th, and runs through December. Don't just skip it, because if you are getting into it or you don't want to keep things that are the same, it it can be a chore and it's confusing, but you really need to focus and you need to focus and get the right plan that's right for you. So don't, I'd say, put it on the back burner. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Uh, even if you were content with your plan last year, every plan has changed in some way, shape, or form this year. And so you need to you need to not get overwhelmed by all the information, which is hard. Um, these uh, the Medicare beneficiaries out there and consumers, they are getting so much mail and seeing so much on TV. It is hard to uh, um, to take action and to shop appropriately, but it is imperative that they do. So uh, we heard about you guys, and we thought it was a cool idea because Go Health is a company that wades through this for you. And in the same way we have advocated experts in all fields, there are things you ought to take on on yourself, and the Internet is a great uh, tool to uh, find out as much as you can. But again, with something that's this complex and this layered, Mm -hmm. bringing a professional in is the right thing to do. So what do you do at Go Health? So uh, at Go Health, I'm the chief executive officer here at Go Health, and and our our mission is to, uh, and our purpose is to deliver peace of mind in those healthcare decisions. And and so we make sure that we have an objective view, have unique technology that can actually deliver uh, a customized experience to assess your options for your specific state of life, your health status, et cetera, uh, and, and give you that unbiased information so you can make a good decision. And, and we're committed to that. We really love what we do and uh, have a lot of passion in it, uh, passion around the thousands of associates we have uh, to help seniors and uh, other Medicare consumers at this time of year. You know, um, I'll let you go on this, but for folks that are older than 65 and they're in a program now, can they uh, switch to something that's better for them with your help? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody who is eligible for Medicare uh, has this unique opportunity and privilege every year that they should take advantage of during the annual enrollment period to assess their options and make a change. Uh, and then they have another choice, a chance to uh, change again in the open enrollment period, which starts in January through March, uh, if they're not happy with that decision. But, yes, we can support all of that. All right. GoElf.com. Simple as that. Uh, we appreciate you coming on. I'm sure we'll have to talk to you again. Thanks, VJ. Thank you so much, Jane. Thanks, Jane. Steve. All right. Be well.